Hey, what's going on? The Printer Guy here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Epson EcoTank 2400 model. Now, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing this printer, taking it out, using it, setting it up, and giving you my overall perspective on this printer. But this is not the only video I'm going to make on this printer. Uh, there's going to be other videos down in the description below where I'm going to be testing the print quality, printing off some photos. I'm also going to be doing a more in-depth ink install video. I'm going to be installing the ink in this video, but I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video in a separate video. I'll be doing a video showing you how to replace the maintenance box on this printer. And then if this printer ends up giving you issues or you're not able to print with it for some reason, you're printing blank pages, certain color is not printing, pretty common issue that happens with most printers. I'm going to be showing you a solution on how to repair the Epson EcoTank 2400 model. Along with the videos, there's also going to be links to products down in the description below for this printer, for the printer ink that is compatible with this printer, the maintenance box, and some other products I may mention along the way. So use the description box as a resource. But if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. All right, so I do want to get into unboxing this printer, but if you want to skip around in this video, there's going to be video chapters down below this video, and so you can skip around and get to the different parts of the video that you may want to get to. All right, so why don't we open up this box? Of course, what you're going to get in the box is the printer itself. You're going to get some Epson ink bottles, and you're going to get a power cable. And of course, you're going to get a user manual. Now, if you wanted to download the driver, uh, online. I'm going to provide a link down in the description below for you to go to uh, Epson's website to download the driver for this particular printer if you're going to be using PC or Mac operating systems. If you're going to be using your smartphone, you really don't need the driver. You really just need to connect uh, the printer to your app on your phone, on your smartphone, whether it's Android or Apple. And really the purpose of having the driver on your PC or Mac computer is to be able to print directly from your computer and you're going to have a whole lot of settings, especially with a printer like this that doesn't have a screen, you just have to rely on buttons. You really want to use the settings and functionality that you have on your computer or smartphone. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the ink. This is going to be a quick version because again, there's going to be another video uh, that's going to be going more in depth, kind of explaining more so what to do, uh, how to do it. And so just generally, you're going to take your bottle, you're going to flip it upside down and make sure you're inserting the correct color bottle into the correct ink tank. If you mix those up, that could be a big problem for you. So just make sure you're inserting the right color into the right ink tank. Uh, once you're done installing the ink, you're going to allow it to charge. That's going to take a few minutes. Now, another little tip here, if you are connecting with a PC or a Mac, uh, you're going to want to use a A to B cable. This essentially is going to give you a direct connection from your computer to your printer. And so you can send print jobs directly. There's no need to set up wirelessly or anything like that. So this is where you would connect uh, this portion of the A to B cable. I'm going to be putting a schematic up on the screen so you see kind of the idea of how this cable is used. All right, so the alternative is to connect with your smartphone. This is what the majority of you will probably do. You're going to want to uh, download uh, the Epson Smart Panel app. The Epson Smart Panel app is highly functional. It is going to help you set up the printer the rest of the way, and it can even help you get connected to Wi-Fi. So a really, really helpful, really useful app. And you can actually finish the rest of the setup process by using the Epson Smart Panel app. All you have to do is connect your specific printer. It will give you some different prompts, but I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did to connect uh, this printer. So you're going to go to this page. It's going to direct you immediately to uh, this page where you're going to be able to set up a product. And essentially what it'll do is it'll take you through these different prompts. So as long as you follow along with these prompts, you are going to end up setting up the printer, setting up Wi-Fi and getting everything ready so that you can begin using this app and the printer simultaneously. So at this point in the process, you are going to connect to your printer's Wi-Fi. Your printer does emit a Wi-Fi signal, and that is for the purpose of connecting it uh, in this way through these prompts. So from here, you're actually going to be able to set up your Wi-Fi for your printer. And so you want to make sure that your router and everything is functioning properly. So just be sure that you can access the wireless network so that way this is not going to be delayed. Uh, and of course, you can come back and do this later but it's nice to do 
right in the beginning because that's going to help you just with the overall functionality of the printers being connected to Wi-Fi. Once you've been able to identify your specific network and begin the connection process, you're going to go through some different prompts uh, and this will end up getting you to the point where you are actually fully connected to your network with your printer. So this is really the easiest way to do this is on your smartphone. If you're connected directly to your PC or Mac computer, this is going to be a little bit of a different process and honestly, I prefer this method. It's just a whole lot easier. Of course, the screen is blurred. There's some of my personal information on here, so we'll skip this part. The prompts are pretty straightforward, and so really seeing what's on the screen is not uh, of utmost importance. Uh, really, this is personal information that's on here, and it'll be the same for you. It'll show your Wi-Fi information and all that kind of stuff. So now we have gotten to the point where we are agreeing to some disclosures, and now we are going to be able to actually use the uh, Epson Smart Panel app with the Epson EcoTank 2400. You can see that there's different options, head cleaning, nozzle check. What you normally would see on your printer screen is everything you're going to have in this app so that's really going to be helpful because you can even buy ink through here of course i always recommend you buy best printers ink it's going to be a lot less expensive and it's going to be pretty much the same quality so now it is registering your printer all right so at this point you've gotten through the majority of the setup and you can get through the rest of the setup fairly easily you do want to print off a nozzle report because it'll show you all the colors are printing correctly from the print head that's very important now does this printer do two-sided printing double-sided printing no it does not have have that capability it does not have an automatic document feeder and it has limited capability with the paper tray so this is a very bare bones printer if you want the bells and whistles you're gonna have to go up in price and up in the models this is one of the lowest as I said lowest price lowest functionality so you don't have a lot of the things that you normally would have on let's say a mid-grade printer where you would have a touch screen maybe you would have maybe some other functionality like an automatic document feeder like double-sided printing if you don't need all of those bells and whistles all of those additional things then you really will be satisfied and your needs will be met with this printer you can print photos uh, of course that's gonna be in a separate video and here I'm gonna be showing you how to change out the maintenance box on your printer I'm gonna be making a separate video for this as well but I'm just gonna briefly touch on this and show you how to access it so it's the back left corner of your printer you have one Phillips head screw that you need to remove and once that's removed you can slide this panel back and you will have access to the maintenance pad compartment now to actually remove the maintenance box there is an additional screw that is on the bottom uh, you just remove that one and you will be able to fully remove the maintenance pad now, in addition to changing out your maintenance box you also need to reset your counter on your printer I have a video on my channel showing you how to do that uh, so I'll be linking that down in the description below and it's on my channel so you can browse and look for it as well but essentially you would remove your old maintenance box of course this one is pretty new but you can see there's already been some usage there just with setting up so I'm going to be linking down in the description below the best printers l3110 maintenance box uh, i would buy them in advance just have them ready to go and uh, that way you can replace your maintenance box fairly frequently is what i would do and you're going to increase the longevity of your printer that's a, a a hack here that i'm giving you in this video you will increase the life of your printer by a long period of time if you do this if you stay on top of that maintenance so overall, you have a bare bones printer, you have a glass scanner here, and you have some of the different functionality that you would need to do the basics. Uh, now, again, if you want more of the bells and whistles, you're going to have to upgrade. Uh, but this will get you through the majority of the print jobs that you probably have, and it will save you so much money with the bottled ink. Of course, Best Printers sells bottled ink at even lower of a price than Epson does. And so consider those products that I've mentioned here in this video. Now, if you wanted more details on this printer, as far as uh, the specifics of you know maybe the print speeds and all of that kind of thing you're going to want to use the link down in the description below for this printer that is where you can also buy this printer through that link uh, and that would really help this channel as well if you haven't bought the printer already of course there's other videos on this printer that i'm going to be releasing that are going to be more specified more detailed so check those out as well i hope this video was helpful if it was please make sure to like any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.